Hello and welcome to the Baxi Training Centre here in historic Warwick. My name's Rob and we're back with another Training Tuesday. In this episode, I want to take you back to a point in time where everything in the Baxi world was all black and white. Oh, hang on a minute. Not that far back. I want about the boilers being black and white, like these little Baxi 105s. So if your customer phones you and they've got a Baxi 105 like this one here, and they say they've got no hot water, the first thing I'll be trying is the central heating. Now if the boiler fires up for central heating, you know that roughly about 95% of the boiler is working fine. If you open up a hot tap, what you're looking for is a little green light to come on on the front there where the tap is. If it doesn't, as far as the boiler's concerned, nobody's running a tap, you need to do a bit further investigation. So if the boiler's not firing up for hot water, providing you've got a decent flow rate coming out of the hot tap, the first thing I'd be looking for is the spindle to move out and activate the micro switch on the front. So when you're running the hot tap, the spindle should be coming out and making the micro switch. If it's not traveling far enough to make that micro switch, then I suspect you may have an issue with the diaphragm. We call this diverter valve a pressure differential. So it uses differences in pressures. So when you open up the hot tap, you should have a positive and negative push and pull, the spindle should travel all the way out and at the end make the micro switch. So now I'll show you how to strip down the pressure differential valve and replace the diaphragm. So the first thing you're going to want to do is isolate the cold mains going to the boiler by simply turning off the tap like so. After that open up the hot taps just to get rid of any water. You don't need to drain the central heating system down for this and what I do then is grab a posi screwdriver and take off the micro switch at the front. So we can take him off and pop him to one side. So if you are going to replace this front nut as part of the diaphragm repair kit because it's leaking, I suggest you do it while it's all in situ. It's going to make your life a lot easier. So obviously with the cold mains turned off, grab yourself a 14mm spanner, get it on there and just undo it like so. Saves you trying to do it outside of the boiler, you run the risk of slipping and cracking your knuckles off it. Now normally the one you'd be working on will have six screws, one, two, three, four, five, six, but for the purpose of the video we've only got two in, okay? But we need to grab a 10mm spanner now and we need to undo one of the pressure differential pipes at the front. So with a 10mm spanner, get on the front there, give him a turn, give him another turn, and we can kind of pop him up and away. After that we want to grab a flat blade screwdriver and this is where you would be undoing all six screws but for me I've just got the two so we undo this one and what you want to do as well you want to kind of hold on to the front because there is a spring inside there and you don't want to basically get it all to pop apart so we can pop that screw there so once you've got all the screws out then you should just pull forward and out it comes now there's the spring I was referring to which will be pushing against you so it is important that you hold it together because otherwise it will just ping everywhere and you'll be picking up the bits and pieces and pop that front section to the side and now remove that plasticky part and it's that diaphragm that you'd be getting in the service kit now that can sometimes stretch or it can actually tear if it does stretch or tear you'll have no pressure differential on either side of the diaphragm which is why your spindle isn't coming out when you're opening up the hot tap so once you've changed the diaphragm and don't forget to put your little nut back on the front as well reassemble it in reverse order turn your cold mains back on and have yourself a nice hot bath <laughs> 